Well, the series finale of Supergirl is in a few weeks. So did you keep anything from the show? And by that, I mean, did you steal anything? I <laughs> did. I took a few things. But no, there for some reason, the props department, I think, found like a tub of dinosaur figurines somewhere, and they would just put them in random places of the CatCo office set. <laughs> what? I don't know. So I would see them, and I had this weird love of dinosaurs as a child. Oh. We all love dinosaurs as kids, but yes. my love of dinosaurs I love lasted. them as adults in movies that his daughter is in, Jurassic World. Yes. Me too. Actually, Jurassic Park was a huge reason I loved them, yeah, but I wanted to be a paleontologist. Yes. 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 But I wanted to be a paleontologist. Oh, you were in it. Yeah, I was in it oh. until my parents took us to Dinosaur Ridge in Colorado, which is a live dig, and I saw how boring it was. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, it's so interesting. But um, have you guys ever taken anything from like a set that you've worked on? I have a cocoon from the movie Cocoon. Oh my oh God! My God. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up. One, Wait. One all of it. I didn't want to bring it up because I was like, I didn't know if that was like, you're like, since you've been gone, that everybody only thinks I have one song. Um, <laughs> but like, look, Cocoon, all your films I love, but Cocoon changed my life as a child. <laughs> I loved Cocoon. Uh, oh, well, it's one of my favorites. And I, and I also have a little mermaid tale for the little baby mermaid from, uh, which I donated to the Academy's new museum. So oh, that's cool. You can see this little mermaid tail from Splash. Oh, oh so you're like Robin Hood. You like stole and then gave to someone. <laughs> okay, okay. You didn't keep it for yourself. That's cool though, Cocoon. That's a good one. Did you ever take anything from set? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the hee hee man. <laughs> <laughs> Ron busted me one time because I did bring a screwdriver to the set the last day of The Grinch. Um, and they said, no, 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 put the screwdriver away. I do have Whoville money. Yes! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's good. just as cool as Cocoon there. That's pretty good. Okay, that's nice. I'm just going to go to sets and steal stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything cool. I should have stole them something from American Idol or something. Um, well, you've, you've written your first book, so congratulations. That's Thank so you. cool. Right. And, and you wrote with your sister? Yes, my older sister. Yeah, is she a writer, or, or, or do you both love writing? She, from as long as I can remember, was always filling those spiral memo notebooks that you get for school, oh. like cover to cover with stories. I'm your sister. Were I you? love a spiral notebook. I still like say I'm going for school too. supplies for my children, and it's really, it's me. Yeah. It's just <laughs> satisfying. Yes. 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 So she would fill those cover to cover, and so she was always writing. She's written forever, and we That's kind so of cool. had this idea that we wanted to bring something that we would have loved reading when we were kids out yeah. into the world. Um, something magical. We both love fantasy as children. Me too. Still as a 39-year-old. too. Yes, I love it. Uh, well, what is um, Haven's Secret about? It's about two twin sisters who have magical powers um, that kind of relate to the natural world. And uh, Here's my thing. One sister is side-eyeing the other one. So <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? I mean, it wouldn't be a sisterhood without some side-eye, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because y'all have different powers, right? Yes, they have two yeah. different powers that kind of, one can uh, communicate with animals and the other is more elemental, her powers. Um, it's really fun the way they interact and the story's really love it. magical, yeah. And just thank you, because I love reading with my kids, but I love, now they're actually letting me do chapter books and like even bigger ones. So I love it. Every night we read something. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I know, I love I'm reading so stuff that like, they'll get into, but I love as well, because yeah. I'm a child at heart.